What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing the mechanized maiden, the Paragon version. Um, and let's go ahead and get started with this, guys, as uh, this is a little bit like a day late. Um, I had it done yesterday, but I just didn't cast it. So let's go ahead and get it started. First thing you want to bring is uh, as a DPS, at least one of you guys should have mass refresh. Uh, probably two would be best. Um, as you can see in the very beginning, they do a huge amount of damage, and uh, Jared is trying to keep up with the heals, meaning you guys have to put up that unison as soon as possible. He just popped his dignity. Dignity is, is one of those skills that you really don't want to pop unless you're right about to die. Uh, and you can see the dire situation that we're in um, when both golems are up. Once both go uh, one of the golems is down, it's fine. Uh, the healer is going to be just fine. But... Um, until both until one of the golems is down you definitely want to pop all those heals you can uh get your unison up um and as soon as possible get those unisons up i really really like um the green valk um i thought the the regen was going to be useless but the the regen is actually really really amazing for pve as uh, a lot of people use uh ether exchange now and the ether exchange is um kind of taxing on the healer's uh cost so the ability for the Valk to buff and then regen uh, especially uh, the ability to stack the regens is really really good especially if you have like three or four archers on deck you can just stack a bunch of regens and the healer really doesn't have to heal you that much until you're in critical danger or like trip three or four people are attacking you you know or somebody's doing like say this guy uh, Shufen does a fatal or final blow on you um, then you definitely want to use a uh, heal on on that target because he usually is going to die after the final blow. So uh, as far as targeting goes for this stage, you just want to go ahead and target the uh, top one first. You could target the bottom one second uh, and then get the middle one last just because um, if the uh, Shu Fen does do the final blow on you and then the Fire Drake attacks you right after, it's pretty perilous. You could die like that. So I would actually suggest going for the top one first. Uh, and then the bottom one second S and then the shoe fin last just because uh, the fatal final blow or whatever however we do have a really good high DPS on this squad so we're you know uh, we're targeting whoever plus I think this is one of our first runs so yeah but yeah just for you know all intensive purposes the best way to do it is just kill the top one first uh, the bottom one second and then the middle one third <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, Jared is just um, just pretty much saying like we just <laughs> ee way too much, so he's like saying we're a holes. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, okay, so the Dullhand Captain is the one who does the um, counter attack, which is a hundred percent mirror back, so you don't do even any damage to him when he does that uh, skill. So I honestly would say go the go for the top person first, the Gorgon first. You want to go for that first just because um, if the Dullhand Captain does do his uh, counter attack like he is right now, actually, uh, he's you know it's useless to target him, and then you kind of like are stuck into targeting the Gorgon anyways afterwards. So you might as well take out the Gorgon's DPS as fast as possible, and then focus the Dullhand afterwards. It also gives uh, your DPS a reason to like pay attention more because once you kill the gorgon you only have the one target you know he might be looking at the other target then he's all like oh shit like the the gorgon just used his his counter counter attack and he just killed yourself so anytime a uh, mirror mirror um reflect or re um the reflect damage is in play you just want to be careful as a dps that can kill yourself all right so just use your ether exchanges uh, together if you guys can. It's probably the best way to do it. Just like all ether exchange at once. Just like how me and Yuki did it like that. Um, however, if you could, you can. You, it's better to have like three clumped together and then ether exchange all three. Then he can heal you with a area heal, healing all of your ether exchanges at once. And again, the uh, the wind valk is very useful for uh, healing up ether exchanged Arthur, uh, archers, Arthurs, <laughs> archers. Okay, so there he goes. 
uh, revive going out basically you just want to DPS these guys these guys are probably the easiest ones but you definitely want to take out the top one first on this um, this stage just because the mass damage I think it's called like um, I forget what it's called mass destruction I think it was uh, he does like a an attack that takes you down to I think 5% HP or 1% HP he has one of those attacks the top uh, golem does so just go ahead and take out the top golem first he does the highest amount of damage and he does have a ultimate attack so you want to kill that guy first just get that out of the way and then all right, these guys are the ones that um, actually are bosses uh, they are the SSR versions of the monster that you would get uh, so you just want to make sure that you kill off um, actually I would go for the fireman first even though we're going for uh, Pelagia or whatever Pelagia I don't know how or you say, really pronounce your name but you uh, you would want to go for the fireman actually first just because Pelagia um, has um, or Palaza whatever Palaza whatever she has a uh, super attack um, as well I think it's called it's called code something uh, I think it starts with a D maybe she'll use it um, no she didn't use it so it's like code destruction or code decimation or something like that but uh, if she does that attack and your uh, healer doesn't div um, use his uh, his AoE heal divinity in time or whatever um, what is it called Jesus I'm I'm really bad today but his uh, five heal oh my god um, he, he then you will die so the, if the top mob right there uses the uh, super his super ultimate attack and then the fireman down there does his um, AoE attack you pretty much wipe or you at least will kill like two or three people all right um, so oh yeah it's called dignity there it is yes I got it so that's that's it uh, so basically uh, in this one go for the darkman first uh, as usual you want to kill the, off the little guy first just because he does a good amount of damage and the um, Nerusa does do a paralyzing attack that paralyzes everybody with two stacks paralyzed as her ultimate attack so you just want to be uh, making sure that that isn't going on um, and you just you really really want to make sure that um, you're getting that down um, just because uh, if you really uh, want to get the the Nerusa down first there it goes K code Sigma look at that so if you get paralyzed like that and then the dark man kills you like that um, that's a really bad situation uh, I just want to show you guys something real quick what I did here so right here we're, we're gonna get the Darkman down. Veritas is the high damage uh, single target attack. But right here, here we go getting this guy down. There there I am attacking um, this guy while his code sigma is going out. And I have my finger over here on mass um, refresh, right? So if you look at what's, go what's going on here, I'm attacking. I use my uh, mass refresh right here, right on time, right? So that right when he uses his um, status effect right there or all status you can see the mass refresh going in on all these targets that are already paralyzed so let's look at it let's see what happened so it gets per it gets perfectly taken off so that's how you want to do it you want to you want to kind of lead the mass refresh in on that so like right here you can see I put my ether exchange out Ether exchange is going out. Recover goes on Jared. I I know that he's going to be using his um, code st uh, stigma or sigma right now. Stigma. He uses his code stigma right now. I'm already attacking and I'm just spamming my uh, mass refresh because I know that if I spam it right now, it'll take it off perfectly. So there it is, and there's the takeoff, right? So you, it's what it's what you call kind of like a pre uh, heal or a pre um, status effect pre pre skill so you want to use that to like counter the skill uh, that they're gonna use all right <clears throat> so I hold I'm holding my uh, unison at this point um, as a soldier you want to have enough DPS and both cooldowns up to get the uh, attacks off and highest uh, aggro on the target that you guys are attacking 
Um, if you don't have a huge amount of magic defense, I wouldn't suggest tanking uh, the Narusa Lum Lumbada or Lum Lumda or whatever his name is, uh, the the purple one. So there goes the uh, there goes the super uh, attack of the um, fire that I was talking about. It's called Code. I think it started with a D, but Code Gamma actually. So it starts with a G. Code Gamma. I use my um my unison here just to heal us back up uh, and we bought we all put healing unisons up as uh, Jared didn't have his dignity up at that time I don't believe so there it is and now he has his dignity probably on cooldown uh, ready to go up again and now what I want to do is put my ether exchange up and save enough uh, energy for the masher fest so I can do a pre heal or a pre uh, status so there I put my ether exchange pretty um, ballsy there because I had really low HP I could have died and I don't have oh I do have um, my um, Kagatsushi. Kagatsushi and Asian is going to be very useful on this by the way guys. So there goes uh, the status effect and I just did that because I knew that I'm going to have enough um, unison to do a, a uh, water valve. So just in case if he did decide to do stigma right there. I use my water valve, and even if he didn't use the uh, code stigma, then he would have been killed right after that um, that water valve was popped. Okay, so that is pretty much the run, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview on the skills, skill sets of the enemies, what you should bring. Um, Kagatsushi and Azen very useful. Wa uh, water valve very useful in this. Master Fesh as a skill is very useful. Uh, wind Valk very useful. Um, any of the Valks are good. Uh, Fire Valk probably not as much, but um, still good. And the Witch is all, always good too. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that run, um, and it was very, uh, uh, you know, pretty s successful run. Um, and then. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want, go ahead and definitely hit up the comments below. Tell me what you guys thought about the video. Also, if you guys could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, and I will be doing that subscribers video as I did. I think I hit like around 4,000 something subscribers already. So, pretty awesome. Uh, definitely tell me what you guys thought. And, um, and also, like the video if you could. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's it for this one, guys. As always, thank you guys all for watching. And... Take it easy. Peace.